CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.3. Compare and Contrast Protocols for Wireless Networking. Long-Range Fixed Wireless. This video will focus on a special type of wireless communication called long-range fixed wireless. Firstly, let's demystify what long-range fixed wireless is. Imagine connecting two points, like two buildings or towers, without the need for physical cables like fiber optics or copper wires. That's what long-range fixed wireless does. It uses radio waves to transmit data over significant distances. This technology is particularly useful in areas where laying cable is impractical or too expensive, like rural or remote locations. Now, how is this technology used? Think of scenarios like connecting a remote office to the main corporate network, providing internet access to rural communities, or linking surveillance cameras to a central monitoring station. The applications are broad, covering both commercial and public services. Diving deeper, we encounter two types of long-range fixed wireless connections, licensed and unlicensed. Licensed connections require authorization from regulatory bodies. You're essentially renting a portion of the radio spectrum. This exclusivity means less interference and more reliable connections, often used by businesses for critical communications. Unlicensed connections, on the other hand, are free to use without a license like Wi-Fi. While they are more accessible, they are also more susceptible to interference from other devices using the same frequency bands. Another essential aspect of long-range fixed wireless is transmission power. This is the strength of the signal sent by the transmitter, measured in decibels relative to 1 milliwatt of energy, or dBm. dBm is a standard unit of measurement for signal strength. A higher dBm indicates a stronger signal. For instance, a signal strength of 0 dBm corresponds to a power level of 1 milliwatt, while a signal at negative 90 dBm is much weaker. However, it's not just about cranking up the power. Higher power can cause more interference and requires more energy. This brings us to regulatory requirements. Each country has its own regulations governing the use of radio frequencies and transmission power. In the United States, the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, sets these rules and might include what channels are reserved for licensed and unlicensed use or the allowable limits for transmit power. And adhering to these regulations ensures that different wireless systems can coexist without causing harmful interference to each other. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.